This is Olbermann versus Trump, and I'm not Trump. So I see we're at the plant a spy in your own Justice Department so she can steal info for phony election fraud claims stage of the coup now, while we're still at the martial law stage of the coup, the pardon convicted General Michael Flynn's stage of the coup in which he sends out tweets calling for martial law and for suspending the Constitution, and the Trump attorney Lynn Wood stage of the coup where he calls for martial law and for preparations for civil war and the Rudy Giuliani continuing part of the coup, his nationwide fraud tour, now joined by that woman who is either drunk Karen from Kalamazoo or the next Mrs. Rudy Giuliani. We're also at that stage of the coup in which Republicans like Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin are insisting that they are all going along with all of this simply because no Republican could overlook Trump's vote total, that somehow we have to accommodate the 74 million Trump voters. And the answer to the question, how do you accommodate these people is fuck them. To merely have voted for or to support Trump is merely to be a racist or a fascist or to be neither but to be comfortable with either. To support recounts in close states is wasteful and arrogant, but it is not unpardonable. But to support Trump's attempt to spark a coup to overturn the duly elected government of the United States is not something we need to accommodate. It is against the law. If we are asked how we accommodate people like Lynn Wood and Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani and their stooges and their fellow travelers, the correct answer is indict them and arrest them. Gee, a dictatorship would be good, or let's prepare for civil war because our presidential candidate lost, or Trump should invoke martial law and start shooting all the Democrats, is not an opposing political point of view. It is a crime. It is an attempt to end American democracy. It is not to be accommodated. It is to be resisted and defeated. And those behind it are to be punished as the law provides. To repeat, if they think we are at the stage of martial law, let's give it a try, fuck them.